All right, scholars, thanks for tuning in. We just saw a video of Jenny Jones winning the world championship. Actually, I'm not sure that it was a world championship, but it was a pretty amazing throw for her. And this is a good context for us to discuss the ideas of force, net force, and equilibrium. So let's first define what we mean by force. So I'd like you to get out a piece of paper, take notes on this as we go. By force, we simply mean a push or pull. And you should call these notes um, net force and equilibrium notes. By force, we mean a push or pull on an object. As with anything um, that can be measured, we have to have units for that. So the units for this, well, in the metric system, also called the International System, SI, we use Newtons. And the symbol for Newtons is a capital N. In the English system, we use pounds. And the symbol for that is LB. And of course, we think of pounds as being weight, but weight is the force of gravity, so that's consistent. We're going to define net force. By net force, we mean the sum of all the forces acting on an object. The sum of all forces acting on an object. We'll take a look at some examples. So first, let's draw um, let's draw an object. We're going to actually draw what's called the sheet. This is the ice that they use when they're doing curling. And I'm going to attempt to draw what's called the stone. That's the part that they throw. Nothing's heavy. That thing weighs about 40 pounds or 20 kilograms. So let's do the. We'll put the stone in. Um, what color should we use for that? Let's use purple. All right, this can be a little tricky to draw. I'm just going to actually draw it like more or less a blob or a rectangle. All right, and then we have Jenny. We'll draw her in uh, how about green. She's pushing on this. She's exerting a force on it. I'm going to draw that force in red. Force. I'm going to label my force clearly. I'm going to say force of curler on stone. We almost always identify our forces this way. What is, um, what is exerting the force and what is that force being exerted on? Force of curler on stone. So let's say that the amount of that force is 20 newtons. No problem here. Pretty simple. But what if there is um, more than one force? So we're going to take a look at two examples of net force over here. We're going to take a look at the example where we have aligned forces. And we'll also take a look at an example where we have um, opposite forces. So going back to the aligned forces, um, what if, uh, think about this here, where maybe this is baby Jenny. And here is Mama. And so Mama is teaching baby Jenny how to throw a stone. And Mama's pretty strong. Mama's also exerting a force on it. But her force, and we'll say force of Mama curler, on stone. So let's make her force 30 newtons. We have two forces acting on the stone, and the sum, the net force, is going to be 30 newtons plus 20 newtons. So over here on the side, let's be real clear about how we're calculating net force. F net, that's how we write it. The net is down below as a subscript. Net force equals 20 newtons to the right plus 30 newtons to the right, and that gives 50 newtons to the right. I'm being very clear to give directions because forces are vectors. They have direction and they have magnitude. Okay, so far so good. Let's take a look at aligned forces. So if we scroll down a little bit here, uh, no, sorry, not aligned, opposite forces. 
So let's put ourselves in a little line here. We'll draw this line again. Nice sheet of ice. And again, we'll draw ourselves um, the stone. We'll do that in purple. And where'd the purple go? Yeah. So here's our stone. And we'll draw Jenny again. Pushing, exerting a force. And um, we'll draw that force of her acting. So again, force of curler on stone. And we'll keep it at 20 newtons. But um, then we have her little brother who is going to be over here opposing the pushing of the stone. So their force, uh, I'm going to label that in the opposite direction. So that's going to be force of brother on stone. And let's say that he's pushing back with a force of 15 newtons. All right. So how do we calculate the net force in this case? So it's still the sum of the two forces. We have a force of 20 newtons to the right plus a force of 15 newtons to the left. And remember, in physics, we assign positive and negative to direction. We call to the right positive. We call to the ne left negative. So this force to the right would be positive 20 newtons plus this force to the left would be negative 15 newtons. And that gives us a net force of 15 newtons. It's a positive number. It is, therefore, to the right. So the net force is 15 newtons. To the, oops, I made a mistake here. Not 15 newtons. 5 newtons. Let's fix that. Uh, there we go. Five newtons. Okay. I want to take a look at one other consideration here. Um, what if her brother was pushing with a force of 15 newtons? So let's say that the little brother is actually exerting a force of, uh, let's say, 20 newtons back. So in this case, we would have 20 newtons to the right plus 20 newtons to the left. 20 newtons plus negative 20. And that would give us a new net force of zero newtons. And this is what we call balanced forces. When two forces are opposing because they're of equal magnitude. OK? So it's really a pretty simple concept. If they're pointing in the same direction, you add them. If they're pointing in opposite directions, you subtract them. But always make sure that you have the net force is going in whatever the direction was of the stronger force when you're subtracting. All right, now um, I'm going to pause. I'm going to stop, and I want you to take a look at part two, because in part two, we'll explore this idea of equilibrium.